Hey yo what's up guys it's me Mr. Game here and welcome back to my channel I'm here to share with you a product that I shared with you guys last week which is the Elgado Stream Deck Today we are going to have a full review and in-depth of this Elgado Stream Deck since I have it for like a week So as promised I'm going to show you guys more in-depth on the software itself If you have been following my channel Last week I have put up the unboxing video and a first look of this thing I will link in the description below so you can actually check it out Like what I said back then this is one of the coolest things that I never knew I would want and the best thing about the stream deck is it actually unlocked the whole new layer of possibility pretty much literally not just for streaming but video editing photo editing and pretty much anything that you can think of it might work so in this review we are going over to the unit itself and talk about the software and all the good stuff all the things that you want to know and in case you are in the market of buying the stream deck this is good for you First off, let's have a look at this product again. It's, firstly, it seems like a number pad, but it is an upgraded version of LED screen. There are 15 buttons over here, and they are not touch screen, but they are actual tactile button, which is like a rubber dome switch on the keyboard. Stream Deck, as the name has already spoken by itself, it's mostly for streamers out there, but I'm going to show you they are not just restricted to OBS or Elgado software for streamer but they are actually also good for editor, video editor, photoshop creator or illustrator. This is a great tool for you too. So let me explain. So if you are a streamer, most likely you already heard of OBS. Yes, it's worked greatly under this program. When you are in OBS, you need to understand about building a bunch of scene which you can toggle in between scene by pressing a button or having a graphic pop-up or a GIF pop-up. This is going to save you a lot of times in the end but what is really cool is you can also bring up different app or program. It will launch your favorite game or bring up Spotify or even Photoshop or any other program which you can think of and just place it inside the stream deck which is really cool. That's what I'm going to use it for and I'm going to show you what I did on my end and it can have a folder within a folder so to let you guys have a better understanding I'm going to head over to my Mac and show you guys the software right now Alright so right now this part of the review where we're going to spend some time learning on how to set up the Stream Deck software how are you going to achieve all this effect and those animation of transition stuff that you are going to do for your live streaming or workstation all right now i'm actually on my mac and here's the stream deck app on the right hand side you can see this game capture and all the pre-program that elgado has already set like obs studio soundboard stream deck all the micro it's already preset you just have to drag and drop stream lab the system panel which i'm going to talk a bit over here to set your macro there's also youtube control center etc etc and bottom part there is this more action tab so until the more action tab there is pre-program that has been developed by some developer such as the cpu the analog clock you can install them and then place it under your stream deck they are actually very very useful depending on what usage you have like you can also play game you have like the youtube messenger you can email etc so check it out yourself right on the top right hand side you can actually adjust all the brightness of your stream key there's also the software button that you can you can update them if there's a new release of software so right now this is my profile which I have two icons that's left empty is I'm going to show you how easy you can actually place your icon inside the stream deck but before that usually I like to pre-plan my stuff so I will draw what I want to put it inside first so I have a clear picture of how my stream deck will look like at least it's not like those very clutter or very ugly so that's why I have draw first I pre-plan everything before I drag and drop my stuff so over here you can click and drag over your hotkeys you can actually name the title 
and it will appear instantly below there so the link right now I'm just going to put www.youtube.com slash Mr. Gim so if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you click on the subscribe button all right you can also change the icon by clicking the arrow down button select your PNG file and over here you can just change the icon itself so right now I'm going to show you how you can launch your app other application such as a Mac mail which I'm going to do over here same step find your icon put a PNG and then label it of course that is just the basic of using the stream deck that is something not I wanted to show you guys but I want to show you guys something like this which is the animated GIF because after all they are LED littered program and each button you should utilize it you can actually use any software program that can output GIF so over here I'm just going to use my Photoshop and these are actually created frame by frame and it has already created so right now I'm just going to place my icon over this animation just place it nicely save it and you got to save it under GIF so that it will be animated after that and here you will see how it looks this is the GIF icon that we have just created alright so it's very simple just have to drag and drop to the icon area and it will display instantly so right now I'm going to show you the rest of the icon which I have already created and I'm just going to drag and drop all the icon to save you guys some time and after that it will be something like this so this is the whole complete set of the GIF icon which each of them are actually folder so right now you can actually go inside and recreate another set of GIF that you want this makes it more personalized and also unique for your own, the stream deck itself you can actually stylize the icon whatever way you want so you won't look as boring as other people who just drag and drop the preset of the icon so this is more like a stylized version of illustrator app and over here I'm just going to show you a quick quick action using a hotkey so that's just example that right now I'm just going to save this as GIF and because it's a repeated action all I need to do is just to hit create action record the action and give them action a uh, function key after that all you need to do is save it under your hotkey and the next time once you press it everything will be auto so if let's say you are not someone who knows how to operate photoshop or other program which is alright because Elkado has a set of pre-made icon which you can choose from I will link that down in the description box below so that you can actually download it and just click and drag the icon to your stream deck it is very easy and essentially it's just drag and drop and if you know your way around OBS you definitely know your way around the stream deck software they are user friendly as well as the whole drag and drop aspect which is great I guess a layman could also make it work the whole folder thing I think is really just under estimate you can have numerous of folder since there are 15 keys and you can have folder for each one which is 15 app or program inside and let's take that one being a back button which total up, up to 210 keys within this 15 button and everything within your palm of your hand so this is super duper awesome so the pros about this is compact and it's user friendly and it's a great addition to your gaming video editing or any other software program and what's the con if i were to nitpick i would say probably the price tag is slightly high and also the cable itself is, is it is too short and it's non-detachable so you never know if let's say the cable spoil you could probably need to change the whole stream deck so alright guys i will link everything in the description box below if you have any questions feel free to comment in the comment section below i read all comments or if you have trouble doing 
the icon let me know too and i hope this video helps you out and if you do make sure you slap a like button subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video okay thanks bye, bye.